The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Yo, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, what you're witnessing today is actually not my video. This is actually coming from Bengal on YouTube. Um, now, he is another Madden YouTuber who's making some interesting content lately. And particularly, the thing that we're going to be taking a look at today is this Pro Pack that he's about to open in one of his videos. Um, I did get permission from him to actually upload this, so don't worry about that. I will leave a link to his video in the description below as well, so you guys can go check that out. Subscribe to his channel as well. Um, you guys can see that these are being this pack is being opened today, which is September 30th, Friday. Now, the card that he's about to pull right there, Bob Sanders, that is a limited edition 48-hour only card. It even says right on it, 48 hours only. Now, that card came into the game this past Saturday, which means it should have only been into the game uh, from Saturday morning until, I guess, Monday morning, essentially. So that's 48 hours. Now, the fact that this card is still in the game right now is a bad thing. Thing, in my opinion. Now, congrats, of course, to Bengal for pulling it. It's a pretty awesome pull. Um, I'm sure he's going to get plenty of coins for pulling that thing, and it makes for a great video, of course. So, uh, you know, that's great for him and everything, and um, I'm totally happy for him. I have no problem with him pulling it. The problem that I actually have is the fact that they did not advertise this correctly. And this very well could have been an error on EA's part. I'm not 100% sure what the deal is regarding that. But I do know that basically, guys, there's a lot of different issues with what could be happening here. The first thing that's a major issue, in my personal opinion, is that you're looking at the actual value of this card, okay? So the inherent value in whatever card that you're looking at is based upon a number of factors. And one of those things is the, the number of them that are in the game at a given time. So when a card comes out and it's 48 hours only, we know that it's going to be limited to, to packs that were pulled during those 48 hours. And that has traditionally been the case. Now, again, I'm expecting that this is probably an accident and I haven't seen anybody else tweet about it or anything like that. But if this is in packs more than just the one that Bengal pulled, I mean, this could seriously affect the price of the Bob Sanders market. And we don't know if it's just Bob Sanders. It could be a bunch of different legends. It could be any other type of 48-hour card that's in the game as well. Because you saw that the Travis Kelsey that's out right now is 48 hours only, the Football Outsiders. So we know that that one's currently in packs. But we don't know if there are other things currently in packs. And, and that's a problem. Um, again, we're talking about the, the limited number of this card in the game. If, if, let's say, for example, that you went out there and spent 600,000 coins on this card this past Saturday, and or more, you know, I know it was going for, I think, over a million at one point. So if you went out there and spent all those coins on Saturday, and then let's say that Thursday of the next week, we find out that everybody in the Mutt universe, when you get online on the next Thursday, is going to get that limited edition card that you just paid a million coins for. How pissed would you be? Now, granted, that's a really large scale example of something that it's not exactly the same thing that's happening here. But again, any of them that get added into the game, each one that would get added is going to technically, if you really look at it, it would lower the value of the, the ones that were previously pulled. Um, so the, the fewer of them that are in the game, just like anything in economics, supply and demand, right? So anything that's limited in, in, um, the number of them that are in the game is going to have kind of a, a little bit of an inflated price on it. So it's hard in my opinion to justify this. Uh, again, I don't have a problem that Bengal pulled it. I think that's awesome for him and congrats to him for that. But from EA's end, like you have to take better care of the things that you're putting in packs. I, I don't understand how this stuff continues to happen. Now, this specific thing with, um, you know, the limited edition cards being in packs, I don't think I've seen this before. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments section below if there have been other examples of this in the past. But I don't know, man. It, it seems really, really bizarre to me that this was in a pack. And uh, just to let you guys know, he actually did tweet out uh, a 
picture of the back of the card, and yes, it was, this video was recorded today, uh, the 30th, you can see that it was pulled actually in that specific, uh, a pack that specific day, so, um, again, this is Friday, the Friday after the Bob Sanders came out, so, uh, you know, again, Something where you'd really need to think about it, um, and, and if you have a Bob Sanders right now, I'd be a little bit worried about prices because, I mean, if this thing is in packs for an extended period of time and a ton of people start pulling it, that's going to lower the price on the Bob Sanders overall. So that's going to do it for this little rant video. Hopefully you guys learned something. Again, be sure to go over on over to uh, Bengal's YouTube channel and give him a subscription. Check out that video. Drop a like on it. And drop a like on this one if you guys would as well. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this situation? Do you think it was an accident? Do you think they did it on purpose? Let me know in the comment section below. I, I really don't know at this point. I, I, I just don't know. Um, and you know, EA, I think, is going kind of out of their way to, to make some improvements to packs. I mean, they added those the merchandise and things like that into packs, and, and that's cool. But the problem is that, like, just stuff like this can't happen. It just can't continue to happen, man. It, it, there's got to be some more responsibility, in my opinion. So, uh, thanks again for watching the video, guys. Please be sure to drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will talk to you guys again soon.